And we're back now with a check on the hot topics trending this morning on social media. Nothing, nothing loves a belly rub more than a dog. But then there's this dolphin. So cute. It seems like this friendly dolphin just wanted to cuddle. Watch as it floats next to a boat as a diver leans over and gives a little belly rub. There, Aww. belly rub. Look at that. You can see the dolphin turn its big, beautiful body so the diver can scratch the sweet spot. The diver might as well be called the dolphin whisperer. I think so. Cute. It looks like the dolphin maybe wants a treat, too, though. Yeah, right? So sometimes we get attached to the weirdest things. Case in point here, this pencil. Nick Mullins is a sports commentator. He covers rugby and tennis. And his pencil is an internet sensation. Listen to this. He's been carrying this pencil around since September, and now it's made it all the way to Wimbledon. In May, Ooh. Mullins tweeted he was going to retire the pencil. Okay, that was back in May. <laughs> But after so much social media support, he kept sharpening it and sharpening it down to what you see right there. That's it. Just yesterday, Mullen's most recent pencil post on Twitter read, so stubby you can barely see it anymore, <laughs> but old faithful's made it to center court. I just couldn't leave him behind in Paris. I think he's going to miss that pencil when he's done with it. Maybe he'll frame it. I don't know. How can, how can he even hold on to that thing anymore? Right? My kid doesn't. It's pretty much an eraser do. with a little lead tip Right, at this that's point. it. <laughs> and speaking of Wimbledon, it's the start of Wimbledon 2017. And tennis fans in London, they don't mess around. Look at that. Spectators began arriving at the stadium one day before. Some waited more than 12 hours for a ticket. They lined up in an orderly fashion. We're given a number, a cue card for the golden ticket. Everyone waited their turn patiently and in order. Now that is uniquely British. Very proper. Yes. Satisfy your sweet tooth and get your caffeine fixed mm -hmm. all at the same time. How about that? Oreos just released a Dunkin' Donuts mocha flavored Oreo cookie. Now it's the same chocolate cookie you know and love, but the cream filling, that's replaced with Dunkin' Donuts mocha flavored cream. Now the right way, Maribel, you know this, to eat a classic Oreo is to separate it and of dip course. it in milk. So what do you do with this? What do you dip it in? Now here's a Matrix, the movie moment for you. People online are suggesting that you dunk the mocha filled Oreo into a Dunkin' Donut iced mocha. Chew on that. Good. I just like my <laughs> traditional Oreo cookies like with, white too. with white milk. With white milk. The double That's stuff. It. That's the way to go. Right. We're and posting you cool photos and, and videos all day long on our CBS Miami That's Facebook it. page. Log on and check those out.